Jeez. You coloniser, like Brett, you bloody coloniser. You bloody have to buy your wife. We did, like, uh, I still <laughs> can't get my yeah, head. Yeah, it's crazy. Concert. When you spread cash across the table, you like sometimes you have a, a bill for 115 grand and you put 100 grand on the table, everyone takes the 100 grand, mate. Everyone. No one ever goes, oh, everyone takes the 100 grand, mate. But what they're going to say is, on the dairy part anyway, um, Winnie's dad paid for 12 cows up front. So why would we, we give you time to pay it off? No white people, man, right? Like, we're going into to, to, to bargain for these guys. You're going to see us. Arrogant animals parking it on this. Yeah, <laughs> he rocking up in an Check alley. That out. Yeah, yeah. Check that out, arrogant animals. <laughs> the price went up when I got out of the car. Yeah. Arrogant animals, park, parking at your own risk. Is this the goat? Hello, brother. How are you? We're going in. Yeah. So this is my head. Yeah. So here we are. We go shame for some goats. Whoa, let's take the Randy one, mate. Yeah, Make one more. Oh, there you go. Brother. That, you know that goat's, you know that goat's name is? It's Clint. Uh, he looks pretty good. I like that one. Do you know what to live on? Doesn't matter. Male or female, doesn't matter. And how much is a goat like that? Yeah, they're going to get up like a How much? 15,000. You need to stop talking, please. Okay. We're in Africa. Better to have Africans talking. We should have stayed in the car, mate. We should have stayed in the car, apart from the corner, you know what I mean? Part of the experience. Yeah. So here we are, negotiating for Clint. Clint asked the price, and then they, they said 150 bucks, basically. So <laughs> now he's in trouble with Peter. Peter, what did you pay for the goats? I paid 20,000, which is about $200. Okay, for two goats. And there was a lot of negotiation to get yeah. that. Uh, yeah. It started at 24. Yeah. And we got two beautiful goats. Actually, They're going to no, be cleaned up. 30. Yeah, 30. They're going to clean them up. They're going to be no blue stripes on it, and they're going to be delivered on the day. Do we get dog leashes to walk them? No, no. They with the dairy, you don't uh, hurt Leash. their necks. Okay. So they're just going to bring them, show them. God knows how the aunties are going to take them back, but it's done. It's done. All right. Part of the fun, right? Yeah. So you go. We just bought two goats. So two hundred bucks. Hundred bucks a goat. It's good. All right. Let's roll. Kenya, cast the characters, Clint, Brett, and Rowan. So we've got a mortgage expert, we've got a property expert and an author, we've got a lawyer, and we've got a financial planner. And we used our combined skills to get two goats for $100 each. What happened? So, so this is what happened, right? I opened my big mouth up first, and I said, how much is it? Yeah. And what they said was they wanted 15,000 a goat. Yeah. Right, and then what happened was was you know Pete said no, be quiet. Levy's got to talk to them, and then they yeah. got down to two, twelve thousand a goat. Yeah, but then Peter was like, look, this is cash is king. Yeah. So what he did was is he came out here, counted all his money, and he said to them, and he had it all ready, and he said, look, I've only got twenty thousand. That's all I've got. Hey, but if you need more cash, I've got cash, right? If you need more cash, I've got like a couple hundred bucks. Right, well, just if you so, do, it's here. Right? Yeah. But you know what was interesting? So, do you know what you did wrong? What? You basically did what most Australians do and most Westerners do, which is they want to go straight to the price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Most cultures, if you speak price first, you lose. Yeah, exactly. You're going to lose. So, so you wouldn't normally start with that. You'd normally start with going through the entire process of the negotiation. Yeah. And then what will happen naturally at the end, it'll get to the point where one party is going to have to say, this is how much it is. Got to yeah, open so you can close, right? You yeah, got to open yeah, so you yeah, can close. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. so you went in for the close straight away before we were even there, mm, which yeah. is what most most Westerners are taught that way because yeah. that's what the consumer society yeah. is because it means you lose. You know? you, they can say whatever they want. Can I just say, you're getting advice from a best-selling author on Amazon, <laughs> right? Property guru on yeah. buying goats, right? And he knows goats, yeah. Which I've never done yeah. goats before. But, but listen, let's wait for the next podcast. <laughs> listen, 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 I'm like you, Clint, right? Yeah. I get a bit emotional, I start mouthing off. 
but Brett's very calm and smooth, right? So we should let Brett talk and we should just not speak. No, no, of course. And yeah. at the end of the agree, day, Brett, would you agree or not? Well, it's not that not, not talk because that can You're create... so nice, Brett. You're so nice. <laughs> Such a no, bloody politically is, correct. Um, you you yeah. just won't say shut up. <laughs> try and rush into getting yeah. the thing done. Yeah. If yeah. It's a pro sales is a process. Yeah. And if you allow the process to happen. Yeah. So, for instance, the best thing would have been to go, hey, I'm Clinton. How are you? You know, yeah. what's your yeah. name? Yeah. You know, so you actually, that's more of a sort of the, the getting them to know the relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. people people will give a better price to people who. Yeah. Who they, they like. People they do like. business with people they, they like, like, right? Yeah. 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 So, yeah. so by right learning a speak. name, that's a universal thing. By you know complimenting his goats, but not too much. Just yeah. Generally complimenting, yeah. you know, to say hey, and I then, love your place. And then it's to really get the good. price down, you could be like, oh look, they're a bit dirty. You hey, know, I love your place. I love the there. sign. It's very welcoming. And right? I wouldn't, and, and I wouldn't actually come out with saying we want two goats straight away. Yeah. I'd negotiate on one. Yeah, and yeah. And I'd yeah. say, oh, just out of interest, how much for if we were to take a second or a third goat? How much would that cost? How much can we get the price down? Yeah. You know, yeah. Oh, David, Brett's stage. definitely doing a negotiation. You know, so no, listen to this, mate. Brett's a guru, mate. So this, listen, subscribe to his channel. Uh, he's got a he's got like a property like channel where he talks about investing, property people all over the world. What's your channel called, Brett? Oh, give a shout out. Property rants. So it's called Property Rants, and man, he's been doing. He's been on like the news in England, and like when he's got, he's got, he got some luscious hair, mate. Like I tell you, my gay dad was going crazy, right? But he's got some luscious hair. When he, <laughs> ten years ago, he's on the news, and he's predicting things, and a lot of the things you predicted have come to pass, right, bro? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he's a guru, dude. He's a guru. So listen, we're gonna use the guru to get the goats, and us, because we're emotional boys, me and Clint. Where we're basically the doofus. Well, I'm a bit of a doofus, right? When it comes to negotiation, sometimes when I want to get pissed off. So we are going to let Brett take the lead, yeah, Clint? Yeah. Well, the lead's already been done, and the yeah. is already done. But we're talking about the cows next. Yeah. The cows yeah. Next. This cows was good practice. Ones. This was good yeah, practice. Yeah, yeah. Good the practice. Cows. So one yeah. of the things you do is you, you, when you're negotiating, you can negotiate price and terms. They're two totally separate things. Now most people confuse them and think you're just going to end up with a price. But actually, yeah, but the terms. And, and this is in particular with property. You can do this. So you might negotiate a price, 100000 for the property, whatever. But then what you can do is you can then get an even better deal by saying, but I want to delay completion for six months while I go and find someone to buy that off me and I want access to the property to be able to renovate it so I can renovate the property and access it before I actually even have to own it and I can have it resold before I even own it. So there's stuff like that which is really important in negotiation. So you potato sex tourists who subscribe to me, you're getting a bloody treat today, mate. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, how you relate that in potato? No, no yeah, because mostly <laughs> Philippines and potato, you know? Like, yeah. they, they get so butthurt when I'm sex tourists. You know, we know sex tourists, uh, is your girlfriend 30 years younger than you? Well, you know what I mean? Like, I she is, but you know, like, what's up, you know? So, anyway, anyway, no, we just joking I think, around. I think we did a good deal there. Not saying everyone has a girl from 30 years young as a sex tourist. My girl was actually 19 years younger than me. <laughs> right? Yeah. No. Yeah, no, good boy. So, Brett, when would we put that cash on the table? When do you think we would put that cash on the table? At what point? When it gets hard. Yeah, yeah. When, when I think once we've negotiated the price, yeah. we okay. use the cash on the table so to then okay, get let, that little bit okay. extra. Do you want me to spread it or put it in a pile? Do you want me to spread it out so it looks like more? Well, he's saying the problem is he's saying it doesn't matter. We're going to pay it up anyway, so it, it matters. Ma but but no, it's the terms. It's the terms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, a yeah, 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 So the thing yeah. is, if we guys are planning to do like two hundred thousand, let's go take two hundred notes, not a thousand notes, because if we take two hundred notes, there will be a million. That's what I said to you. Yeah, That's what I know. said. I said that to Clean, you earlier. Brother. That's what they do in Thailand, right? Let's get yeah. heats of the we're little notes. We're getting this out of the ATM. Yeah, they're all going to be thousands. Yeah, we'll go to the we'll bank. Go to the bank. We'll, we'll go, go to the bank. We'll go to the bank. Yeah, we we'll go to the bank. Yeah, we go back. That's what I'll saying. come with you so you don't get wrong. We're not going yesterday. Our country is the biggest beef exporters in the world. We know our cows. Okay? We know our cows. <clears throat> I can't believe we're talking about cows. I'm never talking because about Because Australia is the biggest export of beef in the world. If you want, we'll fly our cows here, which we think are pretty quality. Cows so this one thing, we're not the largest beef exporter, we're the second largest. Brazil's the largest. Okay, we're the second largest. Second largest, okay, yeah. Well, we'll get our facts right. Yeah. We know we can get cows for 20,000, and that's our thing. Now, the 20,000 cows, are shit cows, right? They're the Maasai cows, right? And they're never going to accept that, right? We're not a Maasai tribe, right? But we know the price of those cows, dairies, is between forty and sixty thousand. We know that from talking to 
as you know, the people that we have, right? So that's the range. And we also know it because we've gone and bought ourselves a cow. In good faith, we've already purchased a cow who is pregnant. So we pay top dollar for this cow because we're getting two cows. And we're giving those cows to the grandmother. We should have. Um, and we paid 60000 for that cow. So we know that 200000 is nonsense, okay? Yeah. So you've got to have some rationale. With 40 to 60 is a realistic cow in Yeah, in you case. Right. You know? But the other thing to keep in mind too is we're not just negotiating a price we are, but what we're actually negotiating is we need to become part of this family and it's compensation for them, the family losing her. Yeah. So that's the actual big picture of what we're doing. Well, obviously we don't want any bloody massacre. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we're lawyers. And we'll say, okay, accept it, but we bought a beautiful milk cow for 65000 and it's pregnant. So that's why we pay that. Let's, let, let's get to Have we given that cow to mama yet or not? Have we? Have we given it to grandma? I think Grandma has the cow. Yes, yeah, she's been. It's been given away. Okay. I think they're going to just. So we need to dispel the Australia because if you start reimbursing for Australian education, that's like the sheep stations there, right? Like quarry degrees, fifty grand just in yeah. fees, right? Um, but but the family didn't pay for that. Right? Um, Winnie herself and I contributed for that education. So we're not asking for reimbursement. Really, if we're talking what, what's about... What's the degree you know, cost in Kenya? Does anyone know that? What's that? What's the degree cost Much cheaper. Yeah, yeah, much cheaper. They'll right. probably have the figures, right? Peter, are you cutting a check or are you going, what, are, what are we doing? How are we doing the payment? I, I think what I'll do is I'll bring some cash, right? So at least the uncles can take their cow off the table and it might motivate them to be reasonable. And we can say, yeah. And we'll pay the rest. How much cash are you going to bring for the first time? Probably a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars. But it's this price. We can yeah. do it. We can do a thousand now, right now. Yeah. And then we'll transfer, yeah. right? Levi, has anyone ever not paid, like agreed and then not paid the money? Has that happened often? Not at all. No, because you're going to die. I'm still paying for my wife's outputs. I'm like around 15 months to go. And how many goats have you done so far? I did, that's 15 minus 99. He has 99 and he's paid half. So he's done 48. And I'll pay the 15 goats. And how often do you pay the goats back? Every time he goes there. I've been 30 years or 40 years. Every time I go there, I what if they don't? That's a lot. That's what I'm saying. It's going to look. So we'll spread that. We'll spread that. And we'll spread it like I'll spread it on the table. Yeah. Hey, it's and I think spread you have You have some thousands. You have some hundreds. Like otherwise, it looks like yeah, okay, it's nonsense. All fifty notes, right? Like, oh, he's right. You do a mixture. He's right. Yeah, yeah, and listen, yeah. you put the big ones at the top and the small ones at the that's bottom. The, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's on Miami Vice drug deal, mate. Well, you remember Miami Vice? That's so how they did the drug deals on Miami Vice, mate. <laughs> Back in the 70s, bro. And we were like, why are you undervaluing Winnie? You're having a second wife and you're banged up. Brett, Brett, we went in and went, why are you undervaluing Winnie? And we started telling him how much the Macquarie Bank um, education is and what her worth is in the marketplace. And could you imagine? We just started... Going Don't for them. Bad that we're trying to cheapen I'm kidding, buddy. I'm I mean, kidding. I th I you coloniser, Brett. You like bloody coloniser. You bloody have to buy your wife. We like, <laughs> I still can't get my. Yeah, head it's crazy. Concert. Okay, so next stop is we're getting some. We're getting, trying to get some goats. Right here. How are you, Petey? <laughs> mate, Petey had a huge run, mate. Petey had a huge run. Petey, mate. Nah. But look at my hand. I, I did something to it. And what happened with the taxi driver? What happened with the taxi driver? Oh, I don't know. I've got a bruise here, a bruise here. Oh, that's some of the power things. The what? No, it wasn't. Oh, wasn't there? No. Where's it from? <laughs> Would know. you fall or something? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Let's see. He needs a bath. Yeah, yeah I'm not carrying that on my back. Yeah, he's yeah. Change your mind. <laughs> Do they prefer female goats or male, Levi? Or you get one of each so they make more goats? Oh, you got one of each so they make more goats? <laughs> 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 
I like this guy. I'm good. Can you get that go? Can you get that go? Let that one go. Let that one go. The best place can give them what is going on. Help select the best The white one. The white one. Pete, what about the white one? Pete. Well, let uh, Levi decide because he probably knows what their taste is. This white one. The thing is, we have to look at good horns. Yeah, good horns. Yeah. Acute lady. We just have to look for acute lady. Well, that's, what, that's why the white one. That's why the white one. But what about this white one? Guys, what about this white one? Actually, no. Levi, what about that white one? Oh, that one's got ice. Oh, not yours. Yeah. So that one there. Uh, so the, that one. Well, which one's got... You. See, that one with the dead goat horns. Yeah, that, that, that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so oh, definitely, sorry. I think that one. And then which other one? Good horns. We're looking for good horns. Yeah, the brown one. Yeah. Okay. Alright, we've got those two. Will you let this milk chocolate one go? Yeah, these are cute ones. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I know. It's got no horns. It's got no horns. Yeah, it's a boy, right? You need cash? Hey, you need some cash? No, no, no. I've got money for you. Yeah, it's all good. These two go off. He's in disappointment. We try to go. Well, I want you to get it. You know what? Let's get to that. Let's get to that. Let's get to that. Let's get to that. So, thanks, bro. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. Let's go. Thank you. Good. Good deal. So, Brett, you're up to tell me what I need to do. I think I just need to be there's a presence. You know what I mean? Like, and I think actually, I think a lot of people go into this thinking that it's going to be this confrontational. I think that's a mistake you make. If you can make it a friendly interaction, keep the humour. Then people are enjoying that. They don't yeah. want to screw you over. If you go in as a prick, then then yeah. they'll be. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. But sometimes, sometimes you go in and you meet pricks, and you have to be a prick. Well, you know what I mean? Totally. Sometimes, well, the problem is if you practice win-win-win, which means everyone wins. You know, that's a much better strategy than win-lose. So I practice you yeah. win. I, I, I look. There is a bit of. I win, you lose. I, I, yeah. One of my mentors said to me, it's not enough that I win, you need to lose. And I was yeah. like, oh, that's pretty full on. But I, I, I'm a bit skeptical of win-win. I'm a bit the skeptical. The problem is, is what you think might be a win might actually be a lose. You know, yeah. so, so you've got to, and that's part of the process if you're doing them. And, and this is, if you're buying a carton of milk, that's a good tumor product we're not talking about here. But part, understanding the other side's motivations, yeah. you know, all that sort of stuff, that's really important. What's that? Oh, is, the answer to call. But yeah, I think understanding their motivations, which is I think something we need to understand tomorrow. Is and there's no way these guys, no, there's no way these guys are going to let us like not finish this negotiation. There's no, no way there's going to no. be not, not going to be a wedding. Right? There's zero but chance. We can't, we can't either. That, that would be lose, lose, yeah, lose yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. for everyone. So, yeah. you know, we're going to be realistic that we're going to have to pay some money. We're taking the daughter out of the way from the family. Yeah. And yes, it may not be practically that way anymore, but... But, bro, she lives in Australia. You know, yeah. relax. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> relax, man. She lives in Australia. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to see Belle because Clint's driving. Right? Well, I've got any problem with driving, but you are in Africa. And you do tend to overtake, you know? like Put probably... the seatbelt on. Yeah, well, well. Guys, please subscribe, share if you like, and keep the notification button so you're always updated with our vlogs. And see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, don't subscribe. I can really care less.